It's been a very tough few years, and just when we left lockdowns behind and looked ahead to a future post-pandemic, we were hit with a soaring cost of living crisis. Many have been asking, when will this improve? Wolf von Rotberg believes the reopening of China could unleash pent-up demand and mitigate the recession. China has basically um, closed its economy last year, or closed in a sense that they've uh, in introduced a zero COVID lockdown, meaning a lot of people were basically locked up in their homes, couldn't go out shopping. Um, this has been reversed. They're now coming back to the streets, started to consume again. And the Chinese consumer is quite relevant, not only for the Chinese economy, but for a lot of producers of goods in Europe as well, for example. So it'll help the global economy to some extent. And in addition to that, the Chinese government has also decided to revive the real estate market, which is also a driver of global manufacturing growth. So it should also help global manufacturing growth in this regard. And then lastly, on the tech sector, they have abolished some of the regulations they had introduced before, meaning these um, this sector should also benefit. He expects inflation will continue to go down this year too. Inflation has started to come down already if we look at the numbers on a monthly basis, meaning month over month inflation has started to decline uh, in those segments which have risen the most in the past year, meaning for example energy costs, food costs and so forth. This has started to come down. This will be reflected in the annualized numbers as well at some point or in the annual numbers. Um, what has not come down yet is the inflation for services. And that will take somewhat longer because it's more closely correlated to wages. So this usually happens only with a bit of a lag to the other components. We expect this to happen only towards the end of this year, beginning of next year. It will likely continue to go down, but this will most likely also come with some weakness in the economy over the medium term, and it will not quickly come down back to the level central banks want to see, meaning 2% inflation rates, such that you know rates won't fall as quickly. So it's a bit of a, inflation will come down, prices will not decline, they will not rise as fast going forward, um, but we are not yet out of the woods in general when it comes to the economy. Mr. Von Rotberg expects that Bank of England interest rates will rise to 4% before they start to come down, but that eventually they will. With so much up in the air, where should people put their money right now? Emerging markets are looking attractive. China is a key driver here. Uh, it has started to recover, but yet not to the levels which we have seen last year, at the beginning of last year. So we would think that this recovery in Chinese markets and Chinese equities and in Chinese fixed income markets should continue for some time. The seminar also featured a talk from investment specialist Joel Amram on the value of paying attention to the next generation, as well as a lively question and answer session.